This is your wake up calls automated service. If you have not ordered this service, press one. If you have ordered this service and are happy, thank you for pressing two. You have confirmed that you ordered this service. Please press zero if you'd like to speak with an operator or hang up if you are satisfied with your service and you will be charged on your phone bill, 3295. <laughs> Hello. This is your wakeupcall.com operator. Press 1 if you are satisfied with your service. Press 2 if you'd like to order an additional year at a reduced price of $39.95. Press 3 if you are completely satisfied. And press 0 if you need an operator. We did not get your command. Please press 1 if you would like to continue our service at 32.95 per month. Press 2 if you need to speak with the operator. We did not get your command. You will be automatically billed 32.95 for the additional year. You now Hello? Hello? Hello, what is going on? You reached the operator at wakeupcalls.com. How may we help you? Well, no, nobody from this office ever ordered wakeup.com. Wakeupcalls.com, sir. We're a service. And uh, yes, it seems here is it's already been charged to your bill. It's, uh, and well, you, it better not be charged to my bill. You just confirmed it, sir. This, by this is a scam that you're running. Who the hell are you? Hi, my name is Mrs. Zolar, and I'm from wakeupcalls.com. <laughs> You're fixing to be arrested if I find you. The fact of the matter is, sir, that you confirmed it by pressing 1. I, I don't care what I confirmed. It said if you didn't want it to press 1. I see. And, I see. And you, you're, you're calling the house from people with uh, cancer, and you're harassing Everybody I call has cancer. Isn't that odd? Yes, it is odd. And what do you have? Do you have a brain? Everybody's got something, huh? Yeah, isn't that terrible? Hmm. i tell you what. Uh, you don't even have my credit card. Oh, no, we charge it right to your telephone bill, sir. Your telephone bill, you do, right? That's correct. What a wonderful scam. Where are you calling from? Oh, we're calling out of Texas. What? Texas, sir, Texas. Texas, is that right? That's correct. Well, I'm wonderful. Well, you know what? I'm going to get you. Oh, well, guess what, James? Yeah, what, baby? Uh, I think Betty ordered this for you as an April Fool's prank. I don't think so. It's not April 1st. Oh, so then you'll be charged thirty two ninety five per year then, won't you? No, I won't. Oh, I'm saying yes, you will. Oh, I'm saying no. I'm saying that I would, won't be, that I'll be calling old Time Warner and telling them about your scam. Let me see your address. Uh, it's B-R-A-U-N-F-E-L. Oh, I see this. That's your, uh, that's your uh, New Brunsfields. Yes, uh, we'll be uh, charging that to you. Is the number nine? Yes, that's your house number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm an old cop. I tell you what, I wish I had you behind an alley. That'd be great. Excuse me, are you trying to rape me? No, not rape you. You're not worth raping. I tell you what you are, you're just a jerk and and your old scam ain't gonna work. Well it has nothing to do I'm with me. Paying, I'm only I'm the operator, sir. I'm only the operator, sir. I'm only the operator, sir. Are you really the only the operator? Which I tell you what you do. I live at number nine. Why don't you come on over to number nine and we'll discuss the bill? Uh I don't have nothing to do with the bill. I'm paid per hour, sir. I don't care. I want you to sit. You, know, you, you got to represent your company, man. No, no, I'm just the what operator. Is your company's name? Now, listen to me. I for, bet you won't tell it's, me it's, that, will you? Yes, it's wakeupcalls.com. Wakeupcalls.com. Correct. You'll Where be charged you on your bill. You don't need to ask me. When you see your bill, that's when you'll be charged. <laughs> Where are you located? Uh, we're in Texas, sir. We're in Texas. Uh, we're in Texas, sir. Yeah, yeah. You know. Dirty little people like you, 
need to find a real job. Well, listen, don't kill the messenger. I'm just an operator. No, you're not, you scumbag. I have nothing and to do with the action. I don't care actual... about your thirty-two ninety-five because you'll never get it. I, would you like to bet me on it? Yes, actually, I would. Unless, of course, you don't want your phone bill to be uh, on anymore. They'll just <laughs> turn your telephone <laughs> off. I don't have a problem with my phone bill. And then, and then, do you know what happens? Then what, we, what happens? What happens? Then we put a lien on your property. <laughs> well, that'll be fun. You and I. This this old lawyer loves seeing you in court. You prick. first you were a cop, now you're a lawyer. Next you'll be telling me you That's were. That's right. Next you would be telling me. That's you right. Were, I started off as a cop, and 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 I and I rich just love talking to little dipshits like next you. Next you'll be telling me you're a bread baker. No, you know what you won't tell me? You won't tell me where you are. I'm in Texas, sir. Nah, that's not Texas. Is a big place, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Why don't you tell me where you are in Texas? Where in Texas, sir? Yes. Where? Where? Where are you in Texas? <laughs> sir, are you the bread maker or the candlestick maker now? I, I'm just a great singer, don't you think? I don't know. I haven't heard you sing. Go right ahead, though. I just sang for you, honey. Now, I'm going to hang up, and if you call here again, what will happen? I'm going to get even a little bit more angry. No, I don't and think you, you will. If you call here again, I I'm going to have to start using some sort of, you know, I have to have a drink just to put up with you. Listen to me, sir. I think I might Listen be to you. A, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. I, I, oh, God, I, I'm listening. I think I might want to have your babies. <laughs> I don't know. I've already got so many of them, son. I don't think you want to have any part of it. I'm a woman. I'm going to hang up and don't haul here again. Listen, I love you. <laughs> Boy, he's got cancer. He was a cop. He's a lawyer. This guy's got more stories than uh, someone going to jail.